This is a very brief video that's a follow up to one I've just recorded where I've shown how to send outgoing SMS notifications from your bubble app. And I've used a service called ClickSend. Often when you think of SMS APIs, uh, you will think of Twilio. But I found that ClickSend offers a, a wide suite of different tools that isn't just restricted to SMS. We've got uh, voice, we've got email, fax, we, we can even send post. Uh, you know, that's printed off and sent anywhere in the world basically. Um, yeah, ClickSend can be a more intuitive and simpler solution uh, than Twilio. I think that many people find the Twilio dashboard because you can basically send an SMS 10, 100 different ways. It's confusing. ClickSend is great. Um, but in this video, as I say, it's going to be very brief. How uh, do you receive inbound SMS? In particular, um, a reply. If I've sent an SMS out from my Bobble app and I invite my users to reply to it, how do I then process that inbound message into my Bobble app? Well, it's really quick to do so. Uh, so I create a API um, workflow in backend workflows and this will require you to have a Bubble app on a paid plan uh, because this is one of those features that's restricted on the free plan. Um, so I create a new endpoint called SMS and then I put it into uh, detect data mode or initialize and that then means that Bubble is on the lookout for data coming in uh, to this URL, this endpoint um, and it's ready to analyze it and structure that data. If I go into click send uh, and then uh, I go into messaging settings, I can add an inbound rule here to my SMS. And so I can say all inbound, uh, it doesn't really matter what I name these. Under action, I choose URL. And then in here, you can see I've already done so, I've pasted my endpoints that I've got from the Bobble app here. And I don't even need to reach into my pocket to test it. I can get uh, click send to simulate an inbound SMS. And you can see that Bubble has detected it and begun to structure the data. And these are all bits of data that I can then refer to in my workflow actions uh, to save it to my database. So I can go uh, create a new thing, inbound message. I can refer to the request data and I can refer to message in order to save whatever is returned in this field. Um, one thing that we would need to update before saving this and assuming that it's going to work consistently, in fact, two things to point out. Um, one is that uh, I need to remove initialize and add uh, because the initialize is only going to work uh, when I have detect data and then it isn't actually going to run any workflow actions after that. It's simply to teach Bobble uh, where, uh, not where, the, the structure of the data, the JSON that's being sent from the third party service. So I need to remove initialize. The other thing that I've seen confuse people uh, is that your um, workflow, backend workflow API endpoints are specific to your app version. So you can see here that I have test version. I would effectively need to create two rules here, one for my test version and then one for my live version if indeed I wanted uh, all SMS messages to go uh, to both versions of my app. And then I would of course click save. And that's now ready to send um, SMS inbound messages to my Bobble app, assuming I've deployed what I've just set up in my uh, development version to my live version and that this workflow actually exists in my live version. So there we have it. That is a very brief and hopefully uh, shows just how simple it is to uh, take your replies for the SMS notifications that you sent out using ClickSend and to process them into your Bubble app. So there you have it. We've now got two videos out there on uh, how to send and how to receive SMS notifications from your Bubble app and you've not even had to sign up for a Twilio account to do so.